apparently I'm at 100 subscribers. That's almost 102, we're so close! And for 50 subscribers, I made a video that was unlike most of my videos, and I tried to be funny, and it didn't work at all, and I don't think anybody cared whatsoever. So, so now that I'm at 100 subscribers, I thought, why not do it again? Hello all 100 of you, I'm Red Quan, and here's the top 10 everything in ARMS. I'll start with the top 10 characters. Number 10 on the list is Springman. His spring hair and arms are very generic, and he just lacks any kind of personality. He's almost mechanical and robotic. He has no emotion. Number 9 are Bite and Bark. Wow, this duo is full of personality and emotion. Two of the most relatable characters in all of ARMS, in my humble opinion. Number 8 is Kid Cobra. I might rank him higher if his name wasn't Kid Cobra. Maybe Jeff? He looks kinda like a Jeff. But beyond the name, Jeff is a pretty cool looking character. His body kinda reminds me of like a snake. At number 7 I would have to put Lola Pop. Lola Pop is a creative character because she's made of candy. But then again, she is pretty insane looking, so maybe someone else would be a better number 7. Well, I already made this list, so I'll stick with it, even though this is a little unnerving. At number 6, I have Maxwell Brass. Maxwell used to be the guy at the end, but then Nintendo said, eh, let's just put him in as a playable character. And boy, am I glad they did. Maxwell Brass brings so much new to the table. He's able to grow up big and strong just by yelling at people. Hmm, I wonder if that's really how it works. A solid number 5 is Master Mummy. That's his name, right? I didn't do any research for this video because who needs effort? Master Mummy is a pretty cool character because he's honestly just a mummy that walked in and started punching people and became an instant celebrity. He doesn't really even talk, but he can regain health by shielding. I guess that's what makes him a master mummy? I, I don't know. Number four is Ribbon Girl. A girl made of ribbons. Basically like Spring Man, but not as lame and robotic. Number three is Min Min. Min Min has a dragon for an arm, so that's pretty nifty. Other than that, she's made of ramen noodles, I think, so that's pretty cool. That's like my only reasoning. Number two is Helix. Just look at the guy. Can I get an awkward and unsettled noise? Perfect. Helix is a little weird, but he's got a lot of personality, and he looks so dumb pink that I just had to put him at good old number two. And the easy pick for number one is Springtron. Springtron has fantastic hair, his arms are spectacular and unique, and he is full of personality. His story is touching and relatable, and his life struggles present a hero we can get behind. Springtron represents the best that arms can be. Now onto the top 10 stages. Number one is literally all of them, they all play the same. The stage doesn't matter at all. And now on to the top 10 arms in arms. This one sounds really boring, doesn't it? Maybe I just won't do it. How about instead I do top 10 badges in arms? That sounds very slightly less boring. Maybe it sounds more boring. I, I don't know. Number 10 is the launch arms badge. This one is so great because it's really dumb. If you have the ability to look at the pins, I don't know, maybe you've turned on the game. Just a guess. Number 9 is defeat Springtron in a Grand Prix. Why is this badge only for Springtron and no other character? I have no idea. Maybe there is some legitimate reason, but I honestly have no idea. This pin is so great because one, it makes no sense, and two, it involves Springtron, who, as we already decided, was by far the greatest character in any ARMS game ever made. Number eight is Knock Bark of Bite and Bark fame over five times in one round. This one is particularly funny because hitting Bark is really sad and cruel looking, so knocking him down five times in one round is especially pathetic. Number 7 is the badge for earning money. This one is a great badge because the badge gives you money because you made money, so sometimes you can get a badge for getting money and get enough money from getting the badge to unlock another badge for getting money. I thought there would be more interesting badges, I only got 4. Huh. How about the top 10 game modes? There aren't 10, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, and I'm not going to include Grand Prix because it doesn't count. Okay, honestly, I just forgot to put it in the script and I'm too lazy to change it. How could I forget Grand Prix but not Skill Shot? Stupid Red Quan. Stupid Red Quan. Number 7 is Skill Shot. Skill Shot isn't very entertaining at all. 
It's really just a way to make getting points a little more fun, but as a game mode, it's really boring. Number six has to be Team Fight. Do you love arms? I mean, it's alright, Mr. Announcer, sir. It's no room in the night sky. Well, how would you like to play arms? But you're tied to another person. That's what Team Fight is, and let's just say it's not very good. Number five is Hoops. Hoops is just grabbing people. That's actually all it is. They make it seem like it's a legitimate basketball with a twist mode. Nope, it's just a grab fest. Fun! No, not really. It's not very fun. Number four is 1 vs. 100. 1 vs. 100 sounds pretty cool. Aw oh, yeah, it's me against the world! But actually it's like 1 vs. 2 50 times in a row. That isn't quite as catchy though, I guess. Not bad, but definitely bad. Number three on this list is V-Ball. Unlike Hoops, which is iffy, V-Ball actually has some fun to be had. You have to not only aim your punch as well, but also time them correctly. It's still pretty simple, but there aren't really any problems. Number two is Normal Fighting. Normal Fighting is the main mode in ARMS, and for good reason. All the other modes aren't that fun. Maybe that's a little harsh. Not very... deep? Sure, we'll go with that. Normal fighting in arms is pretty crazy cool. I don't know what else to say, it's really boxing with stretchy arms. And number one is arms test. It's basically the same thing as normal fighting, but, but I like it more because you have to use arms that you aren't always the best with. It's entertaining and it changes stuff up. So that was my lousy excuse for a video. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, I'm sorry, this was really bad. Not that my other videos are good either, but I don't know, this isn't like my other videos. I like making stuff like this once in a while, and subscriber specials usually aren't like normal videos anyway. So I like to take the opportunity to make some real garbage. Well, I'm Red Quan. Thank you for 100 subscribers, even you, Mr. Clean. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.